Western Australia's union nurses and midwives received record 350,000 fine last year for a strike that brought thousands of nurses outside the state parliament to the height fierce dispute over pay and conditions. Highlights was Australian Nursing Federation could face a 36 million fine, was Australian Nursing Federation could face 36 m fine, but both parties agreed last month on a fine of just fraction of that amount. However, both sides agreed last month to impose fines at a fraction of that amount. The state's Industrial Relations Commission had ordered the union not to strike, but the Australian Nursing Federation ignored this order and decided to continue. But his efforts were unsuccessful, with the government refusing to give up on the latest salary offer, which included a 3 to 4.5% raise. Thousands of nurses and midwives joined the strike for a 5% salary increase. ANF fined 36 million, was Australian Nursing Federation, could face a fine of up to 36 million for 3,590 individual violations alleged by the IRC registrar. Janet Rea boycotted her appeal to appear before IRC on the day of strike. The final decision fine rested with the IRC, which agreed with both parties today and imposed a fine of 350,000 on Union and 10,000 Ms. Rea. Financial records submitted to the IRC last year showed that ANF had a surplus of 4.5 million. Speaking after her sentence, Ms. Rea said that the fine imposed on her alone was double what the entire teachers' union received after a strike in 2008. Clearly the industrial landscape has changed and this fine serves as a warning and deterrent for other unions when considering industrial action going forward, he said. ANF challenge at the extreme superintendent Stephen Kenner said it was an important consideration to deter both ANF and other unions from violating commission's orders in future, while handing out 350,000 fine. He said that ANF's disobedience to order to cancel strike was most extreme of violations, describing unions' actions as combatant non-compliance. The public nature of calculated deliberate behavior of ANF, which has been vigorously prosecuted through media, including print, digital, radio and television, various social media outlets, has clearly made behavior worse, he said. At hearings last month, the IRC told that 338 elective surgeries and 350 outpatient appointments were cancelled due to the strike, but it was not known how this compared to regular days. The fact that state health system responded to statewide strike by triggering Department of Health's disaster response mechanism says volumes about severity criteria in this case, Commissioner Kenner wrote in his reasons. The fact that those involved in crisis management of health system avoided the disastrous results of strike is a tribute to those involved. Lawyers for the Commission's Registrar had said last month that substantial punishment was needed to prevent the ANF or other unions from seeing V.